Welcome to the More DME Training CPM Machines. Now, CPM Machines can be it's, it's pretty complicated, but I do think it's important for case, nurse case managers and adjusters to become familiar with what CPM Machines are and how they work. There are a lot of great manufacturers of CPM Machines. Usually these manufacturers sell to a distributorship network, and then they in turn go out and market their products. So two companies, I, I'm going to discuss two companies. They're just links to their websites that I've worked with. Furnace Corporation, it, was, um, it wasn't that, that, that wasn't thirty back then. But if you go to this website, you click on that link and say you came back to what is CPM therapy, you could read about this. Continuous passive motion therapy, what it is, why it's used, and all that, all the different medical procedures that could benefit from CPM machines. And another company that I bought product from, it actually was Smith & Nephew at the time I was buying product. But if you went to this website, uh, no, you could just click on knee CPM, shoulder, elbow, hand, and click on the elbow CPM. I don't, there wasn't that many orders for elbow CPMs, but very expensive equipment. And you can see that it's it's pretty effective, pretty in, it's, it's a little bit of a complicated setup. and what it looks like and read about them and understand that if these aren't set up correctly then maybe some damage could be done to the patient and I can tell you that when I did a shoulder CPM or I'm sorry let me click back on this when I did a shoulder CPM for a patient we would very seldom. The Centura CPM, we had this model. And I remember driving to, from Phoenix to, to Yuma, which was a four hour one way. We set up these patients. This gentleman was um, injured in a motorcycle wreck on the job. And it was a, con he had a lot of injuries, but, it, but he had to have a shoulder. <laughs> More often than not, the physician would order a CPM shoulder. Now, knees bend pretty much two ways forwards and backwards or you know stretch your leg and then you know bend your knee and, and extend your knee but elbows shoulders ankles there's all kinds of different ranges of motion and, and directions that they can be trying to increase range of motion and very seldom if ever did we ever get a CPM that gave any instruct um, prescription that gave any instructions any so I would pay a therapist hundreds of dollars to come with me just to make sure it was set up right and so we wouldn't do more damage than good. So all I'm saying is it's important for you to make sure that whatever CPM company you're using, I would have them come in with their equipment and make sure that the rep they're sending out to fit these devices knows what they're doing. And you can learn all about it. I mean, Salmon's Preston used to be Smith & Nephew when I bought them. Go through there, see all their different CPMs, and just read about it and, and, and find out about it. And ask yourself, is the company that you're using actually know what they're doing? It would be, when it comes to cost containment and CPMs, I guess knees, you know, it's not that easy to mess things up. But anytime you're doing ankles, shoulders, elbows, hands, wrists, fingers, thumb, it gets more complicated. So I would I would say whatever companies that you're using, I wouldn't just look at price or certain things. I would I would make sure they know what they're doing and they can come in and do demonstrations and prove to you they know what they're doing. Or it's possible you could find a, a company that sells nice quality CPMs and you could buy them wholesale and have your own CPM rep whose job is to go deliver CPMs. You could probably save a lot of money if you just bought a couple shoulders and however many knees you think on average you're, you have out in the field in a given month and once in a while maybe one, one elbow and then a couple ankles, hand and wrist, and have somebody if you have any that is trained to go out and fit these patients you could probably hire a, a therapy tech 
or maybe even a therapist and and make sure you could probably bring it'd be difficult to bring CPMs in house you could do it but you'd have to have a qualified staff but on the other hand if you have 50 CPMs out every month that add you know every month month after month after month it might pay for you to buy your own CPMs and then again this is a complicated thing bringing Demi in house like off the shelf back braces drop ship to patients simple CPMs it's different it's, it's, it's complicated but it's something to look at at least look at these CPMs online with these quality manufacturers read about them get an idea and and then you can look at the, what these what these machines can do and if you have somebody with a complicated injury and you really want to make sure they get the f full range of motion and maybe avoid scar tissue formation as fast as possible then it may be a good investment to do CPMs instead of thinking about oh not another CPM referral there are legitimate reasons for CPMs it's it's but you'll know with you look at the claim injury and all that if it's a if it it's their indications or diagnoses for a CPM and the CPMs can bring extreme value to your claim for long-term medical health care benefits however I would make sure that the company you're using has reps that know what they're doing because you can cause problems um, and really when we fit an ECPM I mean it's like a shoe you know you buy a shoe you start walking it takes hours before you realize the shoe doesn't fit right and you've got a huge blister when people's shoulders are numb from surgery or elbows or knees are numb they don't really feel a kink and it, so we would sp we would spend like an hour with the patient maybe more just watching their knee go back and forth back and forth back and forth so that 20 minutes into it they didn't go oh that's starting to hurt you know just to make sure so I would make sure that when you use a CPM company it's probably best to use a really high quality local regional provider um, who knows what they're doing and has quality equipment and supplies because I know a lot of times insurance companies will use the dropship companies from Florida or I mean the um, cost containment companies from Florida who then contract out to whomever will do it the cheapest out of state you know I mean obviously if they're based in Florida they're not going to be delivering CPMs in Arizona but then they want half of the CPM rental fee and it's the company delivering it and training the patient and doing the soft 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 goods that's actually there fitting and training the patient so when if you're using a drop ship I mean if you're using a cost containment company from Florida who then in turn farms out the order back to a regional CPM company in the state you are your insurance company is you know you don't want to get the low somebody who's bidding for the lowest price better to err on the side of caution with CPMs and get the highest quality equipment highest quality training highest quality patient fitting and make sure your patient has a great experience with their CPM especially with shoulders and elbows and ankles because this is not just extension and, and um, you know bending their knee up and then bending their knee extending their legs straight it can be complicated so cost containment using these cost containment companies in Florida who then substitute out the order or refer out the order to a, C a local CPM company in whatever state the patient's living which is how we sometimes we had contracts with these companies in Florida we finally said enough's enough this is too this is a lot of work and and if we want to do the job right and then half the, the profitable half is going to these cost containment companies you can take our two training tutorial on about MSC and PMS. I'm not saying that they don't do a lot of great things and bring in cost containment. I'm just simply saying it's like that movie Armageddon when, that, when, when Bruce Willis and his, his working partners were all going off that meteor that one guy goes, you know, we're flying in a ship that was built by the company with the lowest bid. I mean, sometimes you want to pay for what you get because you want to get a lot. So CPMs, make sure the company makes sure these high quality equipment, most of them do, but have them come in and demonstrate that they know what they're doing and that their sales reps do because a lot of great can be done by, with CPMs and possibly damage too. So thank you for taking this tutorial and make it a great day.